today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make coffee bombs using our silicone sphere mold. They make a great gift for anybody. Today we're gonna to be making three kinds of coffee bombs. And we're gonna start with our milk chocolate wafers, putting them in a bowl and melting them in the microwave in 30 to 20 second intervals until melted. Next, what you're going to want to do is use a spoon. And what we did is we placed some into the mold. We spread it around and up the sides. You want to push on the back of the mold, releasing any air bubbles. So just wiggle it out the best that you can. You can remove any excess chocolate or add any more chocolate that's needed. You're gonna go back around the edges again so that you have a really strong side. And then you're gonna continue doing three more molds because we're gonna make two chocolate and one with the white melts. For the white melts, you'll wanna melt them in the microwave and put them in the silicone cups the same way we did the chocolate ones. After the chocolate is set, and you can put them in the fridge to speed that process up, what you'll want to do is release them from the silicone molds by just popping them out gently. You'll want to heat up a microwave safe place in the microwave for one minute, and then what you'll do is you'll apply your sphere to it to smooth the edges and get it melty. Then for coffee bombs, we added one tablespoon of instant coffee, and this is one tablespoon of caramel macchiato creamer. Then what we're gonna do is we have some craft caramel bits and we're just gonna add a small handful to it. And then what you'll want to do is take that other side of your sphere, melt that on the plate, and adhere it to the top of the one in the cupcake liner. Next with our white candy spheres, what we're going to do is make a French toast coffee bomb. So again, same concept. We're gonna melt the edges, add one tablespoon instant coffee, and we're gonna add one tablespoon of non-dairy French cinnamon French toast creamer. Then I just added a sprinkle of cinnamon to make it taste all that much better. And then what you're going to do is melt the other half of that sphere on the plate again and adhere it to the top of the one in the cupcake liner. And lastly, we chose French vanilla. So again, we're using the milk chocolate shell, one tablespoon instant coffee, and a tablespoon of the French vanilla non-dairy creamer. And that's as easy as that one is. So we're gonna melt the top and apply it to the one in the cupcake liner. Next, we will start decorating them. For the French toast coffee bomb, I decided to use the white chocolate on top as well. You can melt your candy wafers right in the disposable icing bag, and then cut the tip and zigzag it over the top. And then I finished it off with some gold sprinkles. Next is our French vanilla coffee bomb. So what I decided to do is put some white chocolate on the top again with the squiggles. And this time I used the clear sugar crystals. For our caramel macchiato bomb, we are using Wilton Color Mist in gold. So I put it in a tin to protect my work surface. And then I'm just gonna give it a good spray on top. Now you need to let it dry, and then what we've used is the chocolate melts in a disposable bag again, melted them, cut the tip. My tip got a little clogged here, so I'm just squishing that chocolate piece out. And there you can squiggle it across the top. All three flavors with your favorite coffee mug and a little something extra. Thanks for watching this coffee bomb tutorial. You can find more information at craftsdirect.com under the projects tab.